Yes, family, another journey of a lifetime experience. Family, if you want to enjoy a full-fledged, real, authentic, black African experience to the motherland, especially in a country like Ghana, travel with us, africaforafricans.org. Yes, family, this is Africa for the Africans Tours and Investments. And we connect you with an incredible reconnection to the motherland where you can share an incredible experience with your own brothers and sisters and not a bunch of mixed group with a bunch of crackers, rednecks, devils, and other crazy other people. You want a real experience to connect with yourself. A sister, if you're going to the Holocaust dungeons and you have to cry or scream, you want a brother to hold you. You don't want no devils to be around you. You might stab one of them. So, family, it is real. I mean, I may be laughing and things like that, but uh, I was at uh, the Cape Coast Holocaust dungeon, and I did a few videos. You're going to see them come out. I did a few segments of uh, upgraded version of uh, white devils uh, everywhere. Uh, which is the old uh, video I did a few years ago. Uh, but uh, nevertheless, uh, every group of people I saw as far as uh, a tour group uh, that was in numbers of maybe five or more, it was mixed. We are the only all black African group uh, that traveled to the Holo African Holocaust dungeons. Um, I'm not sure about yourself, but uh, that's a problem. Uh, it's sad, it's sick, and um, like I said, you want to be with your own brothers and sisters, you roll with us because it waters down the journey. It's something that you need to really be you know, made special. Like uh, we've seen a situation where it was a few uh, sisters and with, with a few white girls and uh, a few of us approached and said hello to the sisters and it caused a, a drama where the sister didn't want to speak with us because she wanted to make her white friends feel comfortable. And I mean it's things like that that's, you know, that some people may not understand but you know, you, like I said, family, if you're looking for that real experience, that's what we do. We do not compromise. We do not mix our group. And any white person or Asian who try to sneak on our group, even if I meet you at the airport, I'll automatically give you your money back and cancel your trip on the spot. You know what I mean? It's not authorized. You're not going to ruin our flow. Just like I was saying earlier in another video, if you're a disrespectful, disruptive person, you cannot roll with us because we have so much people that we have built a great relationship with and they're looking forward to the, these uh, journeys. And the last thing they need is people who are not focused and are clear. We have all of our details laid out on our website, africaforafricans.org. And uh, we have it laid out for the purpose of so everyone can think and be clear on it. And also we record incredible amount of videos on tour and also videos like these where we just like quote unquote just keeping it real, letting you know straight up. We only want the best of our brothers and sisters from African diaspora who are going to come and go with the flow, be energize everybody else with positive energy and not be focused on everybody else's business. You know, so it's an incredible journey based on the flow of energy we create and also the itinerary set. But also it makes it nice when we don't have a lot of this unnecessary energies that we don't need. So um, you know just being real with you family, if you're gonna be if you think you're gonna be one of those persons, don't do it. <laughs> Dead serious. Don't do it because and I just kicked off two people of the tour like two days before the tour was over. Like dead serious. I'm not even playing around. I literally told both of them to get the fuck off the resort and they're not allowed back on the bus and take your ass away from us because we don't need your bad energy. You know? We're you know, we've been having a great journey and the last thing we need is two bad apples to just go around and spread nasty negative energy because they expect to be in five star hotels the entire time. That's not realistic. We go around four parts of Ghana. You know, it's, you're not gonna get five star hotels everywhere you go. You know, so we do our best, and all of the regions get you the best hotel. And then, and then for the most part, you know, when you have one Africa, which we explain to everyone, it doesn't have certain things, and so it's all the establishment. And we have a brand new hotel across the street, so you can choose that one. But whichever one you choose, you have to deal with the situation. This is Cape Coast Elmina. It is not the city of Accra, and it's not Kumasi, and it's not Takarati. Those places, the hotels are incredible, you know. So, you know. So uh, once you start uh, doing things, you know, I do my best. I don't build these hotels, you know, and I do our best to accommodate people and work with management and things like that. But if you're gonna be disrespectful and then go around and just, you know, disrespect, a, disrespect a brother and just talk down about a brother and disrespect my business operation in front of my tour members and spread bad energy, and then they're gonna say, "What's there to complain about? There's nothing to complain about," and things like that. You know, you're gonna have a problem. That's an automatic ejection. You know what I'm saying? And you know, it's kind of like you know, what I mean, it's kind of like you're playing soccer. 
you know, you just like, you know, someone's going for a goal and you just like gun them down and almost, you know, break their legs, you know, and not even touch the ball. It's automatically red card, you're out of here. You know what I mean? You know, so, you know, we expect you, all of us to be on our best behavior and be respectful to high stuff. We have conference calls, we go through things in details, and we do it for the purpose to make sure everybody's clear, you know. And if you're not up for the experience, I mean, honestly, just don't put yourself in those situations. You know, and you, you can reach out on Facebook or wherever to people have traveled me in the past, and they'll tell you, you know, that's what we do. We handle business from business administration to leading you on the ground and making sure you're safe and you enjoy the journey. And we protect you against the bad apples and against anyone that's going to do you harm and everything, you know. So sometimes we just got to do what we have to do to make sure the rest of our people that are focused on what they're focused on and doing all the things that we ask them to do, which is listen, follow directions, and just go with the flow. That's our family. That is a real conversation for Bomani Tayamba, you know, director, tour organizer, and tour leader. Africa for the Africans, we have built a great momentum from 2006, and I've taken almost 400 brothers and sisters from the African diaspora to the African continent and reconnect them to many wonderful things, roots, culture, business, investment, nightlife, shopping, networking, and just a world of African culture. Uh, so family, just reach out to us, link us on our website, africafortheafricans.org. View the details and reach out to me. And uh, if you can't get me, just uh, send an email. WhatsApp message is also fine. And uh, when we're on tour, um, the phones does not work. So every other method works. So just reach out and we'll holler back. All right, family, keep it strong. The journey continues.